The Grand Canyon. Enormous. Iconic. Breathtaking. It is like a history book of the world that has been cracked open, with each layer representing a page that goes back 1.8 billion years. Scientists estimate that the canyon was formed millions of years ago, when the mighty Colorado River began carving through layers of rock. Despite our understanding of how it formed, there are still mysteries that exist deep within the Grand Canyon. How could one billion years worth of rock vanish without a trace? And is it possible that an ancient city lies hidden beneath the canyon's surface? Join us in this video as we explore these questions. The Missing Rocks The Great Unconformity is a geological anomaly that has captured the attention of scientists since John Wesley Powell, the famous explorer and geologist, first noticed its existence in the late 1800s. This strange phenomenon refers to the disappearance of over a billion years of rock layers from the canyon walls. For years, scientists have been unable to explain why these rocks, which should be present according to the timeline of Earth's geological history, are missing. But a new study by Barra Peak and her team at the University of Colorado Boulder may have finally cracked the mystery. According to their research, the Great Unconformity may have been caused by the violent breakup of Earth's ancient supercontinent, Rodinia, around 700 million years ago. This seismic event is believed to have washed away one billion years' worth of rocks and sediment into the ocean, leaving behind a gap in the geological record that has stumped scientists for generations. The Grand Canyon is often described as a textbook of Earth's history, where visitors can witness rock formations dating back to almost two billion years. But the missing rocks are like missing pages from this textbook, making it difficult for scientists to fully understand the geological history of the canyon. Despite the mystery that surrounds the Great Unconformity, researchers like Barra Peak are working tirelessly to uncover its secrets. Using cutting-edge techniques like thermochronology, they are able to track the heating history of rocks in the Grand Canyon, providing new insights into the geological processes that have shaped this iconic natural wonder. Thanks to their efforts, we may finally be one step closer to understanding the mysteries of the Great Unconformity and the incredible geological history of the Grand Canyon. Ancient Civilization In the early 20th century, the Arizona Gazette published an incredible article on the discovery of an underground citadel in remote parts of the Grand Canyon. The article detailed exploration of the citadel by G. E. Kincaid, an archaeologist funded by the Smithsonian, who stumbled upon it while rafting on the Colorado River. The entrance to the citadel was a nearly one-mile-long tunnel that descended 1,486 feet down the canyon wall and was invisible from the river. Armed with only his gun and an insatiable curiosity, Kincaid was struck by the chisel marks inside the wall and eagerly ventured inside. What he found left him breathless, an incredibly advanced civilization with architecture that rivaled even the greatest engineering feats of the time. In the center of the city lay a chamber with hieroglyphic symbols carved on the walls that bore a striking resemblance to those found in ancient Egypt. But it wasn't just the symbols that left Kincaid in awe. Mummified bodies, wrapped in dark linen and measuring no less than nine feet, lined the walls of the chamber. And, as if that weren't enough, a cross hall over 100 feet from the entrance contained idols and images that looked remarkably like Buddha, each holding a flower in its hand. The cavern was clearly of oriental design, and scientists still debate the religion practiced by the inhabitants of the citadel. Pottery and other instruments were also discovered, making this an archaeological find of unprecedented importance. The mixture of cultures found within the citadel was diverse and varied, further adding to the mystery and intrigue of the discovery. In yet another chamber explored by Kincaid and his colleague Jordan, mummies were found piled together in what was believed to be a ceremonial crypt. A Grand Canyon state archaeologist said that early explorers bore Egyptian and Hindu names. It was a fascinating find that could have significant implications for world history. However, the story takes an unexpected turn. The newspaper didn't publish any follow-up stories, the Smithsonian Institution has no record of the expedition, and no one knows if Kincaid or Jordan were real, let alone if the cave exists. The story remains shrouded in mystery, leaving us with two questions. Is the story genuine? And if so, what would its implications be for world history? 
The story of the underground citadel in the Grand Canyon is one of intrigue and mystery, reminding us that there is still so much to discover and explore in our vast world. Stay tuned, as there are two more exciting discoveries yet to be unveiled. 313 million year old fossil footprints. In 2016, a Norwegian geology professor named Alan Krill and his students were hiking along the Bright Angel Trail in Grand Canyon National Park. As they walked, they came across an unusual boulder with what appeared to be fossil footprints on it. Krill snapped a photo and sent it to his colleague, Stephen Rowland, a paleontologist at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. To Krill's surprise, Rowland confirmed that the footprints were the oldest recorded tracks of their kind within the park. But as they studied the tracks further, they realized that they were even more significant than they had initially thought. The tracks belonged to shell egg-laying animals, such as reptiles, and were the earliest evidence of vertebrate animals walking in sand dunes. The research team estimated that the imprints could be up to about 313 million years old, making them the oldest vertebrate fossil tracks ever found in the park. And the tracks revealed something even more interesting the passage of two separate animals on the slope of a sand dune with a distinct arrangement of footprints. As the researchers reconstructed the animal's footfall sequence, they discovered that the animal walked in a unique lateral sequence gait. This gait involved legs on the side of the animal moving in succession, alternating with the two legs on the opposite side. While living species of tetrapods, such as dogs and cats, use a similar gait when they walk slowly, the discovery documented the use of this gait very early in the history of vertebrate animals. The trackways also revealed the earliest known utilization of sand dunes by vertebrate animals. It was a groundbreaking discovery that shed new light on the evolution of animals and their movement patterns. And it all started with a chance encounter on a hiking trail in Grand Canyon National Park. The Magian Monster As the sun sets over the Grand Canyon and darkness descends, the silence is broken by rustling leaves and a faint twitch in the shadows. Locals and visitors alike reported seeing a towering, hairy, vicious creature stalking across the landscape, unleashing blood-curdling screams unlike anything human. This creature has become known as the Magion Monster, and its sightings date back to 1903. The first recorded sighting was by I.W. Stevens in 1903, who reported encountering a man with long white hair a matted beard, and talon-like claws on his fingers. The creature wore no clothing and had a coat of gray hair, with patches of dirty skin showing. Stevens described the creature's face as a horror, seared and burned brown by the sun with fiery green eyes. Stevens reported that the creature charged at him, wielding a large club, but was distracted by a mountain lion on a ledge above. As Stevens retreated and fired at the mountain lion, the creature ran away but later returned to make a meal out of the mountain lion. As Stevens yelled at the creature from the safety of his boat, the beast fled up the rock ledges, screaming the wildest, most unearthly screech Stevens had ever heard. Sightings of the Magion monster have continued to be reported over the years, mostly in the mountainous Magion Rim region of northern Arizona. Don Davis, a cryptozoologist who encountered the creature on a Boy Scouts camping trip in 1944, described the monster as huge, with deep-set expressionless eyes, a square face or head, and massive chest, shoulders, and arms covered in hair. Even in the age of the internet, the Magion monster continues to be reported, with a sociology student claiming to have seen a troll-looking creature while hiking near Payson in 2014. Whether or not the Magion monster truly exists remains a mystery. But there's no denying that the tales of this mysterious creature roaming the Ponderosa Pines of northern Arizona are enough to send shivers down your spine. If you want to learn more about the hidden ancient city in the Grand Canyon, simply click on the video to the right. Thanks for watching.